Okay, this is just a short video about the voice command system in the BMW X5 2002 model. So quite an old car, looking back 13 years, 14 years, it was it did start off the first generation in 1998, um, but it came kitted out with a bunch of features, and the one I'm talking about today is the voice control system. So most of the features in the vo for the voice control system work with the car phone, um, and I'll just show you where that is now. So if we just look in the center console here, and just open that up, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do, it's just the top bit, so instead of opening from the bottom, it's that top button there, and basically what you'll see is the Motorola V50 phone, you can actually find that phone on eBay today. Um, if you ever wanted to buy a really old phone, it is an old phone by the way, so um, if I just take it out just so you can see no smartphone features here whatsoever. Um, it's just a very basic GSM phone and um, I've actually got a SIM in there with Vodafone, so it all works, it's nicely hooked up and it does the job. Um, as you can see it's nicely embedded into this, into this cradle here, which comes with the car. Um, so that was BMW's choice of uh, phone when they started this off. So you can see as I push it down, it's got latches that hold the phone in place. It's got a cradle, nicely cushioned for that particular phone. So unfortunately, I don't think you can just plug any old phone in there to get the system to work as a whole. As I say, you can get that Motorola V50 on eBay. They're still being sold about 50, 50 quid a pop. Great, so we've got a phone enabled in there. Um, we've also got the voice command button, and we've got our dashboard that will also um, give us some input or output from the voice control just to to give us visual confirmation of what we've told the car to do. So we'll just uh, we'll just give that a go now. So typically, what you'd want to do with the phone is to obviously make phone calls, and uh, we'll start with that feature then. So to activate the voice command system, all you do is just press and hold the button, dial number. Please speak the number. 0871 Sorry? 0871 0871 Continue 2882 2882 Continue 282 282 Continue Dial number The number is being dialed I'm going to hang up because it's a fast food restaurant but uh, just to give you the idea there you get a little green light happening there and the call starts to go through in a second or two. So I'm just going to try and hang up now. Thank you for calling Hot Chair. Your call will be answered as soon. Another feature that you might be interested in uh, using as far as the phone is concerned is obviously storing telephone numbers that you use on a regular basis. So we're just going to store a phone number now. Again, to start the voice command system, uh, press and hold the voice command button. Store name. Please speak the name. Nando's. Please repeat. Nando's. Please speak the number. Zero one one seven. Zero one one seven. Continue. Nine six seven two. Nine six seven two continue. Six three one. Six three one continue. Store name. The name is stored. Once you've stored names in your address book, uh, the typical thing you'd want to do, of course, is to uh, to dial by name. So what we're going to do is start by pressing the voice input button. Dial name. Please switch on the phone. Fair enough. To switch on the phone, I just uh, turned the ignition on temporarily and just switch the car off again. Um, so again, just to dial the name. Dial name. Please speak the name. Nando's. Nando's. Is that correct? Yes. The number is being dialed. And again, to cancel the call, um, you can use the cancel call button right here.
with the names that you have stored, you may want to clear them. You can actually clear the whole phone book. Um, I don't advise that, but unfortunately, it just clears the telephone numbers that are associated with people via voice input as opposed to the entire phone book. So um, if you buy one of these cars secondhand, which is what I did, um, the previous owner will obviously have a bunch of numbers stored on there. If they don't delete them, uh, unfortunately, so you have to go through that manually. You can only delete the voice input buttons using the voice input command. Uh, or delete the voice input names delete using the voice input command. I'll just show you how you do that for, for one person. Delete name. Please speak the name. Mr. T. Would you like to delete the name? Yes. The name is deleted. Fantastic. When you're inputting information into the, into the voice command system, sometimes you can get details wrong. And one of the key things you can use there is correction. So let's go back to the scenario where I'm just dialing a number that I don't intend to store. Again, I'll press the voice input button. Dial number. Please speak the number. 0117683. 7683 continue 289 289 continue correction 0117683 continue 286 286 15 15 continue dial number the number is being dialed You've also got some other features that I don't completely understand really is to do with the volume and I'm not sure if it's the volume for the car radio. Um, I don't think it is because it doesn't seem to have an effect or if it's the volume for the voice from the voice input system. But basically if you hold down the input button, volume up, volume down, volume down. volume down. So as I've said, I've done this with the radio on. It didn't, it didn't change anything with the volume for the radio and the voice input output was still pretty much the same level of volume. Um, so it's just probably me not understanding how that button works. But in reality, I just tend to use the volume buttons if I need to take the volume up or down rather than uh, voice input. Another feature that I think is probably more useful is to do with memos. So you can use these in different scenarios. A uh, typical scenario is you're, you're driving down, um, you see one of the phone numbers advertised on a vehicle, you don't actually have the time to stop and write the number down, but you'd like to maybe take the number down. So that's a, a scenario where you might use uh, memos because it just allows you to take information using voice input and then read it out later on when you do have a chance to put the information down. So let's just say I just want to make sure that I remembered what to buy when I got to the shops, for example. Um, again, you've got your voice input button. Simply press. Reco record note. Don't forget to pick up the milk on the way home. Now to stop the note, note uh, continuing to record, unfortunately you don't have a, like a stop recording uh, command. Uh, what you can do is just simply press the button again uh, to stop the recording. End of note. To read a note, um, all you need to do is just uh, give it the command read note, of course. Uh, first thing to do is to hit the input button. Read note. Don't forget to pick up the milk today. Next. So obviously I pick up a lot of milk. The nice thing about it is it'll continue through all the different notes, um, but obviously as it builds up, you probably want to be deleting those notes as well. To delete a note, I think you catch the drift now. Delete note. Do you want to clear the notepad? Yes. The notepad is cleared. 
So that means all the different things that I've put in are now deleted. And typically you want to leave it clean. It's not a place to store uh, information for a long time, even though it can store it for as long as it needs to. Um, as I say, it's typically used if you're driving and you think of something that you want to remind yourself later on, but you can't take a quick note uh, off. So it's that, that feature I think is quite useful. There are a lot of commands you can use with the voice input system. I won't necessarily cover all of them today. Um, it also depends on what your vehicle is enabled with. So obviously I've got a phone uh, connected to the to the to this particular BMW X5. Um, if you've got the GPS uh, system, you can also use uh, features to do with GPS, uh, which is pretty cool, uh, using your voice as well. So it all depends on what you've got connected. A nice way to kind of work out all the different features that are available is to ask it for help. So Again, pressing the voice input button. Help. Important controls for voice recognition are dial number, dial name, store name, delete name, read phone book, record note, read notepad, clear notepad. Detailed information is available in the operating instructions. The other thing is um, you can also ask for help for navigation, but as I said, I don't have that enabled with this particular vehicle, uh, but I'll just show you how that works as well. So same thing. Help navigation. Sorry. Help navigation. Sorry. Help navigation. Sorry. Route map. Okay, fair enough. So there, there's a time when it said you don't have this feature enabled, but I guess it's just not understanding what I'm saying at the moment. Um, but if you've got that there, uh, effectively that's that's one way to use other features just based on what's enabled. Uh, just as a reminder, we're talking about a car that's over 13 years old with all these gizmos in it, um, and it's pretty cool uh, features. Uh, in later videos, I'll show you how you can probably upgrade that and use um, you know your own actual smartphone uh, to connect that to your system using Bluetooth and play music off your Bluetooth system etc um, etc et so there's other things you can do with it um, companies have started to build sort of upgrade features for these old vehicles um, think of your BMW X5 2002 model or 1998 model as an empty shell and you can plug in latest technology into it uh, by just spending a little cash so we'll talk about that in later videos thanks for watching